They called it white gold. And back in 81, it was the single most influential thing shaping the country of Colombia. For better or for worse? Well, that depends on your point of view. You see, the sheer scale of the operation made a whole lot of people a whole lot of money. We're talking more than $70 million a day at its height. And that's just what's attributed to this guy, El Patron. But when that level of money is involved, violence is never far behind. Skip forward a few years to 1984, and it wasn't the violence that got America to sit up and take notice. Billions of dollars a year literally flying away from the US Treasury? Of course it was the money. For me though, it was about fulfilling my duty to my country, at least before all the patriotic bullshit wore off. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. My name is Steve Murphy, DEA, and this is where it all began. safe house. Investigate the area and see what you can find. On it. Get into position. Passport, photos, travel documents, contact details. It looks like these guys are planning to deliver over the water. One of my men has eyes on some local criminals. Take this intel over to him and see if there is a match. Meet him at the mark area, but do not engage any targets until we have confirmation. position. Necessary. Better him than you.
adulterado, lanza. Recargando proveedor. Estoy presto. Afirmativo. ¿Qué qué? Enterado, lanza. Estoy presto. ¡Hostigan por el amigo! Enterado, lanza. Listo y atento. There was hell of a job. Well done, agent. Steve Murphy, DEA. And that there is my partner, Special Agent Benya. Believe it or not, he's pleased to see you. Unlike these guys, Medellin Cartel. And public enemy number one, El Patron. So where are we at? America's snorting coke like it's going out of fashion. The Medellin Cartel has increased productivity to make sure everyone gets a fair share of this nose candy. There are restrictions in place on the DEA overseas, so, Game over, right? Wrong. You ever heard of Search Block? Of course you haven't. That's because we created it especially to target these bastards. Colonel Carrillo is one of the leaders. He hates the narcos and wants to put them behind bars. He's dedicated. The narcos have built themselves an army, but then so have we. And it's time to send them to work. Pick off those rats one by one until we clean the country of vermin. Oh, word of warning. Watch out for poison. 